So I'll do a little video today to show you how to remove the front bumper on a Mini. So this should do all Mini BMW Mini variants from, I'm going to say 2001 in launch till they change to the type where the headlights remain. So on this one you can see the headlights have gone up with the bonnet. Oop, if I get it right there. Okay. And then you're left with your inner wing like that. In 2000 and seven or so they changed um, so that when you lifted the bonnets the headlight remains so for the earlier type it should all be the same okay right then so if I hand the camera over to Tom we'll make a start so we'll start with the easy ones so you've got these two and these are Torx T30 got to remove these two here show you the bolt so that's the bolt out of there and we'll do the same one on this side we should have done one of those videos Tom where we took half the bumper off shouldn't we and just did the other half now the bumper on the mini is actually more of just a trim panel that it's really very flimsy and cosmetic it's fine when it's bolted up but there's not a lot to it really so it's not as bad a job as you might think so there's that Okay, right then. The next ones we're going to do are a little crosshead ones, and they're underneath. Okay, so now let's 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 start in the middle while we're there, Tom, shall we? So you've you've got a series of screws. Some are in this front textured bumper, and then you've got some in the the area behind here, which are bolts. It's not those. Leave those. It's the ones, the ones in this front bumper. Okay, you don't need to touch the ones behind. Okay, and they're just a little self-tapping screw there. Okay, so just have a look at that. Can you see that one there? Okay, now I believe these are all the same. So if you work along to the side here, okay, there's the next one. Okay, two, okay, another one, three. Okay, and then you've got one right on the corner here. So this is actually on the bottom of the wheel arch trim as it comes down. And again, don't worry about the ones that's, that's hidden up behind in here. Don't worry about that one. Um, it's actually missing on our car, but it's this screw. They're all the Phillips screws, crosshead screws, okay? So that's that one, and they're all the same. So there we go, we've got four out. Now there's seven in total. So let me just skid along here. Again, we haven't got it up on the ramp, that might make it a bit easier, but it's no big deal at all. You could do this on the drive at home, it's not a problem. Last one, and you probably got a better view from it there than we did over on the other side. I keep my hands out the way anyway. Okay, there we go. Right, so that's the the bottom. So we're starting to feel a little bit loose at the bottom here. Now we've got to go into the side. So which side should we do it on? On this one. Yeah, okay, so you go around the side, Tom, I'll go around here. So, right, you can see this little baby here, which is the end of a bolt coming out. And you can see it's sort of as you're coming straight up. We need to get on the other end of that. So you've got to go right in under the wheel arch. So Tom's prepared for me. I'm going to show them this contraption. So Tom's <laughs> contraption, there's super extension here, just to make it easier to get to. And we're going to feed that up through inside the wheel arch. You'll see there's a little scoop out there. Get my head in the way for a minute. Right, there we go. Right, and then let me get the driver working. Oh, hold on, I'm going the wrong way, Tom. That's 
that's it. Right, he's loose now. Tom's put some copper ease, copper ease grease on these for me. So they come out nice and easy. All right, and then, oh, if I try not to drop it and I can show you. So you can see there you've got one of these flanged bolts of the washer is integral to the bolt there. And that goes up. So if we just get that one off the other side, chase about here. Right, can I get, can I get my head in the way? Thank you, Tom. Let's have a look. Right, there we go. Have we got a slightly longer bolt in this side, Tom? Yeah. Do we know which one's the right one? Probably the short, short. one. Yeah. And can we show them the bumper adjustment? Is that underneath the, where you can set the position of yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, right. Then. Just might want to be careful when you take the last screw out, the bumper doesn't pop off. Yeah, so Tom's there just reminding us, careful. So that's the last one out now, actually. So the bumper should be loose now. Now, we will have wiring connections inside, but let's have a, let's grab the bumper at the front here. Okay. Now, it, there's no weight to it at all. Okay, and if we pull it forward, we can start to see some of the connections we've got. So let's gently take these off. So we've got the uh, side light indicator assembly. So we just got to push down on that little tab there. So you can see that little tab there, which just releases the pin there. And then likewise on this one, we need to push down on this back edge just to release the catch. Okay, and that... That's that light assembly. Now this little baby here is the front air temperature sensor. And that, does that just pop out, Tom? Slides out Sli to the side. Slides out to the side. De -de 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 -de. There we go. Yep, so that slides backwards like that. Okay, so that's your air temperature sensor there. Right, and then we've got the same deal on this side with the side light indicator assembly. Um, I was thinking of... Okay, there is, an there is an alternative way here. You could just rotate this counterclockwise and, and pull the whole assembly out like that if the connectors are hard to undo. You've got that option there, okay? Right then, so that is the bumper removed there. I'll do it here as a bit better light so you can see, you can see the bottom fixing points along here. You've got the side fixing points here. Now one thing I wanted to show you, I mentioned earlier, was the little adjuster plate. So you've got these little plates here that the bumper sits on. And if you perhaps come around that side top, if I get out your way. What you do have here is a little adjuster. So if you loosen this 10 mil nut here, this plate actually moves up and down. Let me grab a spanner. Okay, so we've got a little an 8 mil spanner here, and if we loosen this bolt here, well, what we should find is we've got a little bit of adjustment. So we can actually change the. So you, you can see this this actually moves. So you can change the position that the bumper sits at the top of the bumper, and that affects how it meets the bonnet. So if I just put the bonnet down, okay, you can see that by adjusting this position here, okay, you can adjust how close the bonnet comes in. And then when you've got it in the right position, you can obviously come in from the wheel arch there and just tighten that nut back up and it'll stay in, in the position you've got there. Okay, it's quite a snazzy little, a snazzy little bracket design that. Um, so there you go, that's how to remove your bumper and set it.